going on guys welcome back to the channel today I'm doing a video that some of you have requested out there so um, basically the deal is today is the day after my weekly basketball league so I'm considerably sore um, not as young as I used to be and get pretty much feel like I wake up and get hit by a train every single uh, day after my weekly uh, league but what I'm gonna do is show you guys basically how I set up and how I warm up for uh, any of the rounds that I come out here and you see me playing um, just want to make sure my phone doesn't turn itself off, but basically what I'm going to do usually takes me about 10 or so minutes or, or so um, Depending on how sore I am and how much time I have to warm up out here, but um, What I'm going to show you is just the step-by-step -step process of what I do to warm up um, Obviously you can do what you would like whatever works for you guys, but for any out there that are curious um, I promised this video for a little while now, so Basically, all I've done, I pretty much just put everything out here and uh, started recording. So all I've done is, as you see, put the mat and the ball down and put the R10 behind me um, and turned it on. And I don't, it's not even in a exactly precise uh, per position. I'll explain that in a second. But all I did was basically kind of eyeball it, spot or plop it down and just turn it on. So every time I come out here, what I do, first thing is I turn on the R10, like you can see, go into here, into the devices. All right, I had to turn on internet connection for a second. I think I had to probably clip that out for a second, but we're back. All I did was just, I had to turn the internet connection on. I only have it on airplane mode, so no not notifications or anything pop up here, but um, all I do is I went into the R10 like you saw it, um, go into device calibration right here underneath the battery. I always make sure I put a ball down first. I feel like that seems to help. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of testing with ball or without a ball, but I figure if it has something to, uh, bounce the radar off of that's probably always a good thing so just put a ball down first calibrate it only takes about five seconds and that's it so from here <clears throat> what I do is go into the driving range start training personally I haven't messed around with the other three uh, driving ranges the Crooked Creek Green Valley and Palm, I Palm Island um, Personally, I just like the basic one. I'm just used to it at this point. I have my distance set to seven feet. I always just leave it there. That's kind of the standard distance. I think I'm in that ballpark. It might even be a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, but um, I always leave it there and it works well. Go into my weather conditions. As you can see, since I'm on airplane mode, it's blocking it out, but I'm at 311 feet of altitude here locally. But what I always do is come in for the driving range, set my custom settings like you've seen me play for the past few months. 5,300 feet altitude, 65% humidity, and 85 degrees. If I can get it to 85 with my gloves here. There we go. 53, 65, 85. Go back, start the session. The alignment message I'm assuming is going to pop up because this is the first time today. Maybe not. Um, the club doesn't really matter. I always hit nine irons out here, just my preference. You can kind of hit whatever you want. I would suggest a lower iron, or I guess a higher iron, something like a pitching wedge, either a wedge, pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, etc. as you're warming up. And from here, now I just get a couple stretches in. I don't know, hopefully the mic will pick it up. Usually my back cracks pretty loud, but I just get a couple twists in here. Oh, loosen up the back. The R10 read that somehow. I'm wondering, as you can see, today's the first day in a week that it hasn't been raining. It's kind of foggy and hazy out here. I've had a few issues before when I've been out here in like the mist with the R10 having some wonkiness. And what is it saying here? Yeah, interference. I'm thinking I'm gonna mute this for the, actually, yeah, I'll mute it for the session. As you guys saw there, I think it has to do with maybe the moisture in the air. I don't think the R10 loves that. So we'll see if we get any weirdness. It already seemed like, obviously I didn't swing a club, but it showed that I, uh, I hit a ball. But So what I do, like I said, loosen up the back, get some twists in here, get a couple stretches up. And again, considering how sore I am today, I wasn't even gonna come out and play, but I figured to do a warm-up video. This is gonna take me a little bit longer than usual, so I figured this could be a good one to do. A couple stretches, and then from here, back's feeling better than it was about five minutes ago. Get a couple quad pulls, loosen up the legs, a couple toe touches, a 
couple twists. Let's see if I can crack my knees. Nope. Uh, that's about it. So from there, that's all I, all I do for stretching. I don't know what that take a minute. Um, from here, all I do is just start really slow and take basically half swings. And again, this is my nine iron. So usually, my, I play my nine iron to right around about 150, 160, right around 155. So all I do is we'll see how long it takes me, how many shots. It says we're at one. Um, obviously, I didn't hit that one, but. Um, usually hit about 10 to 15 nine irons or so. It might take me again a little bit longer today, but basically I just start real slow. You'll see here by the distances. Start real slow and just slowly work my way up until um, I'm starting to get up towards that 155 number if I can even get there today. And because like I mentioned, I just plopped down the R10, um, I'm gonna keep a note and just a mental note as I'm hitting these balls. If I feel like I maybe push one slightly right and it's maybe showing straight or even left, or vice versa, I'll just go back and literally a fraction of an inch adjust the R10 on the DIY stand that it's on, just a tad left or right, and then keep hitting balls until I feel like everything's dialed in exactly dispersion wise of what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing. So, first swing of the day. Again, not coming out here trying to murder the ball, just loosening up the muscles. That was really fat, that was probably like 120 and at 113. That was six yards left. That one was right, and the ball went flying. But again, as you can see, there's real light swings, 125, that's still we're a good close to 30 yards away from what I usually hit this club fully warmed up and with a little bit of a sweat going, etc. So just slowly working our way up. Ugh. That was thin into the right. See, two yards, I don't know. I'm wondering, that was definitely further than two yards right. That spun off the net. We're at 131. I'm wondering if the R10 is going to struggle today with the mist in the air again. That one was left, eight yards left. That was probably about right. Still a good 20 yards away from where we want to be. That was thin, but straight a little bit right. And right, had that one. So, 139 on that one a little bit longer because that was so thin, but still only swinging at maybe 50-75%. Definitely don't want to go. Um, that was left and popped up. So usually, for the most part, the R10 usually, after you do the calibration, it's pretty good dispersion-wise when you put it down anyways, but if I can and I notice a little bit, that was 15 yards left. Maybe not quite that far, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep an eye on some of these and then once I really start hitting closer to my 150 number, I'll purposely try to put one a little bit right and a little bit left and then make sure that um, dispersion is right. But like I was saying before, you definitely don't wanna come out here and start swinging at 100% with some of your long irons or driver or whatnot. You're just asking for an injury. That was a little bit better, popped up, but it was relatively straight. So I feel like that one spun off the net to the right. I had it dead straight. I think, based on that, I need to move the R10 and just move it slightly left. I'm gonna do a couple more shots, but um, the 15 yards left, that was, I think, a little bit uh, too far left, in my opinion, and that one should have been a little further right. So, if you aim the R10 where it is now, if I aim it just a little more left so it thinks center is left, that means when I hit it right, it's going to show even further right. And then on the last one, when I hit it left, it's not going to be as far left. So, in my opinion, from how those felt on the net, I know the camera angle is a little different here. You might be seeing something a little different, but that's the feeling that I'm getting so far. That one was left and heavy. 
and 142 we're creeping up there probably get a little more distance on that one because it was a pull but similar to how you don't want to come out here with a driver i'm thinking considering i mentioned basketball um same thing when i warm up for basketball i go out there and i take little layups next to the next to the hoop literally right underneath it take some left-handed right-handed and slowly work my way back a foot or two at a time i don't come out there and start launching half court shots and three pointers right away you start close to the basket and work your way back same way you do with here in the golf with the higher lower irons whatever like nine eight iron pitching wedge and then if you really want to do a warm-up fully on a range etc like some people do before a real round they start low and slow and then work their way up to their longer clubs That one felt a little quicker, still left. Trying to add some insight into what I'm doing. So I'm at 10 shots right now, I guess nine, because that first one, but starting to feel a little bit closer, probably at 75, 80% right now, maybe one or two more, and then I'll try to step on one a little bit, a little more fuller swing speed. That was heavy. And that one started straight, spun off the net a little bit right, so again, I guess I'll do it now. All I'm going to do is just adjust the R10 a fraction of an inch, literally as little as I can. Just a little bit left right there. And we'll see if that changes anything. If you really, really move it, it'll say that it's uneven and you're going to have to uh, like click a message. But if you just move it slightly like that, you don't even have to calibrate it again. That was a little bit better. And that was probably, again, because we moved it. That one started actually a little bit further left that time and showed one yard right. So that one's probably pretty close to spot on where we want to be. Still not good distance wise, but dispersion wise is good because we moved it a little bit left. That last one that I just hit before that probably would have been two to three yards right. That was kind of thin and right. Seven yards right, that's probably about right. Starting to get some warmth in the back, so I'm gonna swing a little bit quicker at this one. Still not 100%, I'll probably go about 90% on this one, see what we can get out of it. Popped it up to the left. At least it started left. It spun off the net right. And sometimes I come out here. I hit a couple. I think the R10 is pretty good dispersion-wise. Maybe I just second-guess myself and move it a little bit. And then sometimes I figure I should have just left it in the first place. That one I feel like I don't know if it was five yards right. But we'll hit a couple more. Sometimes you're better off just leaving it as is. But... That was really thin, but it was straight. So, again, pretty sore. Swing speed's going to be down in general, but there we have it. 157. Wasn't a very good strike. It was really thin, but it was straight. Now, depending on time, sometimes I would just call it there, but I want to try to hit more of a better strike and get that same distance if I can. That was popped up a little bit. We're getting there though, 147. Nice and straight. That was left. All right, we're at 17, so we've hit 16. Go for a few more here, but you guys get the idea. Nothing crazy. Just want to slowly warm up, work your way towards those fuller speeds. That was better contact, but it was still pulled left. 151. All 
All right. Trying to get one at, we're in at around 155 total with a good strike, relatively straight, and then we'll call it here. One fifty. That was a better swing. And again, because my swing speed's down, back is sore, body sore in general. This might be just one of those days where I'm a half a club, club short as I play. I'm gonna play one or two rounds out here. We'll see how I feel. But sometimes if I come out here and I'm struggling to get it to 150, 155, I know it's just gonna be one of those days where I'm gonna have to club up on some. So I'm just not as quick. Oh, that was horrendous. There's that thin shot. So that was about 20 yards too long, what we were looking for. That was just a complete skull job. And sometimes I just get a gauge of how today might go round-wise. If I come out here and I'm mishitting everything, it might be ugly, but sometimes I come out here and start feeling really good. That was a little bit quicker. 153, two yards all right. And I think we'll end it on that for the sake of this. I'd be pretty happy with right about there. Um, so, you guys get the idea. This is really all I do. Um, realistically, like I said, 21 shots. So I basically I hit 20 because that first one, the R10 picked up. It was a misread, I guess. But um, yeah, anywhere between five and 20 shots, I guess, with my nine iron. I literally only hit nine irons. And then when you see the, uh, the videos, that's the first time I've hit any other club, driver, wedges, etc. So um, hopefully this was useful to you guys. Let me know if you have any of these uh, other type of kind of odd videos that you'd like to see me do. I do plan on doing sooner than later a uh, full rundown of my complete setup. So I'm going to move the camera around, kind of walk around with it, show you the uh, where the R10 is actually placed, what the uh, DIY level stand that I made looks like. And... Um, Kind of go through some of the pricing of what everything costs out here in my setup but um funny enough ba bowden asked in a uh, comment before i came out here he's been working on trying to maybe extend his distance just a little bit from the uh mat where he hits up to the net give the r10 general rule of thumb is um more distance is better between where you're actually hitting into the net so it gives the R10 the most amount of time to pick it up. Obviously, ideally, you could be on a range where you're hitting balls completely downrange, and the R10 can track it all the way. But um, if you can, err on the side of a little bit longer. But I came out here with a tape measure, and I responded to him from the very start of this net. So obviously, depending on if the wind's blowing, if it's back here. But right here to basically the start of the net, all the way to the middle of this mat, right where the ball is, I'm at 12 and a half feet. So up here towards the front of the mat is closer to 12, back here is closer to 13 feet. But um, seems to work pretty well. I mean, still it's only a $600 launch monitor, so certain things you're gonna have misreads here and there, but I would say a good 90, 95% of the time, it's pretty spot on for uh, what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing, and uh, similar to what I see on course. So basically that's what I have today. I'm gonna try to play a round or two out here. We'll see how it goes. Um, Again, pretty sore, but driver should be interesting the first time. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you want um, any other kind of warm-up videos, tip videos. I'm not exactly a uh, PGA pro like some of the others out there. So some of the stuff that um, I'm all self-taught, I've never had a lesson. So some of the information I'll give you is just related information that basically I've learned on YouTube or reading articles. So i um, not sure if a whole lot of that will be helpful. But anything setup-wise or warm-up, um, et cetera, just let me know. But... Uh, yeah, I think I'll wrap it up here. I'll see you guys in the next video.